everybody, it's Kathy here and welcome back to the third and final um, tutorial in this colour series that we've been working on together. Thank you very much by the way for all of your wonderful comments you've been giving me. I'm, I'm really quite flattered and very happy that these tutorials are helping so many of you out there. Okay, so let's get into looking at what we're going to be working on today. Well, in the previous videos we were looking, we've done our little flower and the swirl here and we used a flicking motion and using that technique we get a very controlled lay down of colour and we can really vary you know, how deep we make our, our colour transitions whether we want to lay down, we can actually lay down as minimal, a three or as many many layers as we want but this technique we're going to look at today is a little different in the fact that we've got a very different look. Let me zoom in here and we'll have a little look at what, what we're working on. Okay, I'm just going to move this over a bit. So here you can see we've got a very blurred or smudged kind of appearance to the outer, outer layers of this colour laid down. And this is, this is a lot of fun when we're layering up different colour families. And in this one here you can see I've used, for the background to make it pop out, I've got a dark violet. Um, for the very first colour lay down that I've used, I've got a very soft yellow. And then I've layered up with a soft green. And working my way up into some teal. And they may not be colours that you would normally blend together, but as you can see, you can have a lot of fun with different colour families. So let's just get right into it. I've gone ahead, I've got my first lay down, my first colour wash done, and I have only one layer of that colour wash down. So I'll go in with my first lightest shade, and this technique we're going to be doing lots of little circles. So no flicking for this one. I'm just going to go right around the outer edge of that. Just like so. Now don't worry too much about how much colour lay down you're getting because you can come back in and add more if you feel you need to. So I'm going to step that up one shade. But again, not going quite as far as I did with the previous colour. Just lots of little circles. So we're getting quite a condensed lay down of colour this time. It's like all the colours going down at once. Okay, I'm just going to brush off some of that excess. And grab my paper stump. So for this I'm just going to use the same motion as I did when I laid down the colour. I just want to blend that in a little bit before we continue with our other colours. Okay, so I can see I do want to add a little bit more of that first colour. So I'll just quickly go around the edge there. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with one of my lightest teal colours. And the same thing. Just little swirls. And again, not going as far as I did with my previous colour. This is so when we blend, we're going to get a transition. We're going to see all of the colours that we're laying down. They're all going to mix in and blend and smudge together. And it can be quite quick doing this technique too. That is if you're not me and you just have to keep going back in with other colours. <laughs> I just want that green to extend a little bit further than what I initially laid down. Okay, so now my final step, I'm going to go in with 
my darkest value, my dark teal, and I'm just outlining just a solid line. And then we're going to come back with our paper stump. And we're going to smudge all of those colours in together. And it's that simple. This technique's particularly good on shapes like this that you want to have um, large highlighted areas. As you can see, that background colour, there's still a lot of area, a lot of space there where we can still see our first lay down of colour. And with that being the lightest that we have used, it's going to really give us a, a really nice contrast. Now I'm just going to darken that up just a little bit and I won't blend this, this layer. Just leave it as it is. And then when we get our background colour in behind this, that is certainly going to really pop. And so there you have it. Now, the same as any um, blending technique, if you wanted to deepen that colour, you just um, repeat the steps that we've just done. Always going back over the whole family that you've done, starting with your lightest colours, in this case it was our greens, then our light teal to our darker teal. Okay, and that's about it. That is all there is to it guys, so I hope this one helps you and I hope you enjoy using this, um, this technique as well. Thank you very much. Bye now.